हेलो एवरीवन हियर क्लास एट लीनियर इक्वेशन एन सी आर टी बुक वन फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन नंबर वर्ड प्रॉब्लम सो व्हाट इज दैट आई हैव अ टोटल ऑफ रुपीज थ्री हंड्रेड व्हिच टाइप ऑफ डिनोमिनेशन इज देयर वन रुपी नोट टू रुपी नोट एंड फाइव रुपी नोट देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ नोट्स then there is relation between the coins number of rupees 2 coin is 3 times number of 5 rupees if one 5 rupee coin is there that means rupees 2 coin is 3 times means 3 if there are two 5 rupees coin it will be two rupees coins are 6 so If it is x rupee coin, so it is two x. Sorry, three x. And which rupee coin is there? It is five rupees coin, and it is two rupees coin. If you calculate total, okay, have the total number of coins is one sixty. How many coins of each? denomination are with me have you seen in shop the shopkeeper keeps or many places in uh, everywhere when you go to buy a thing you will see that they separate the amount of cash what we what do they get like 100 rupees they keep in one and 500 rupee note 200 2000 why to separate these thing these notes why because after all it is it helps them to count properly or count easily suppose i have 500 rupees note at the end of day 5 so i can calculate easily that 500 into 5 if i have 2000 rupee note 6 then i can count easily that how many it is 12000 rupees that means when we separate the notes or the coins anything it helps you to count easily how many numbers are there just we multiply and then add so same way we are doing here what is given with to you let number of 5 rupee coin is how much x because if you see in question the relation is between 5 rupee coin and 2 rupee coin so we suppose which one is given rupees 5 coin is if x rupees 2 coin is 3x okay so rupees 2 coin is 3x now 1 rupee coin will be how much we know that total number of coins total number of coins means how many coins are there at total this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 if you count like that total is 160 coin we have so if we subtract from 160 5 rupee coin and 2 rupee coin then that will be 1 rupee coin suppose i have uh, 30 here 30 coins are this one and 10 coins are there so i am supposing it so what will be that 160 minus 40 will be your 1 rupee coin so we can calculate 1 rupee coin is 160 minus 4x now how many coins are there suppose i have 5 coins 2 2 coins are there that means how many rupees are there it is 10 rupees what we are doing 5 into x that will how many rupees are there same way 2 into 3x that much rupees is with two coins so here 1 into 160 it is one coin is total amount 2 rupees coin total amount and it is 5 rupee coin total amount you maybe you have seen in bank also when you sub deposit cash this way you have to write that how many notes each type you are submitting so now we have work is only to simplify 1 into the thing is will be same it is 160 minus 4x 2 into 3x will be 6x 5 into x will be 5x and 
5 plus 6 11 minus 4 is 7x that is 160 plus 7x is 300 if you subtract 7x is 140 that means x will we are getting 20 x is what how how many coins are there so number of five coins is 20 there are 20 coins of 5 rupees 2 coin is 3x that is 3 into 20 and 1 rupee coin is 160 minus 4x that is 160 minus 80. You can verify if you add total denomination you will get total money is 300. So this way we solve the question.